Hey guys, this is Mike C. This is 45 Seconds with Mike C. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to stay fit during the holiday months. So Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that stuff. So here's the thing. So like clockwork, okay, or it used to happen, like clockwork, over the holidays from about the time it got cold to the time spring came, I would get, I'd gain about 10 pounds. It's normal. Our bodies actually do that because when it starts to get cold, your metabolism slows it down and and you essentially do what you should do, like your body gains fat to just stay warm, right? So that's just normal business. So you really, really have to be careful. Now, why does that why is it so much easier for it to happen over the winter time? Well that's because it's good food season too, right? Like cookies and cake and all that stuff. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I I'm going to partake. If you work really hard, right, then you can you can do that, right? So my motto is, you know, play hard, work harder. So like if you're gonna have a donut, I mean then you probably ought to work it off, right? So here's here's what I do. So I go into those holiday months thinking, okay, if I go into the end of the year at a deficit, right, then what will happen is when springtime comes around and I haven't gained those 10 pounds and then I start to naturally shed a little bit of weight, then I'm already going to be in my summertime physique uh, fit uh, the way I want my body to look during the summertime, or at least a little bit closer. So what you do is just monitor your portions when you eat, right? So monitor your portions. Don't go crazy. Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that stuff, I get it. That's one day. That's not going to hurt you. The one day is not what's killing you. It's the months leading up to it. You also have Halloween, too. I mean, candy to you. So, so just monitor what you eat, and right? And just make a conscious decision about everything that you put into your mouth as you are doing it over the winter months. All that stuff turns into stored body fat because it's cold and the paddles and naturally slows down. You also have to stay active, right? So the number one thing that people do is summertime's over, I don't need to be fit, so I'm going to quit. I'm just gonna stop, I'm just gonna go sedentary, and I'm just gonna, you know, I don't it doesn't matter anyway, no one's gonna see me anyway. But here's the thing. Don't do that, right? You need to stay active. Go indoor, run on the track, run on the treadmill, get on the elliptical, lift weights, do what you gotta do. But but find a group, right? Find a challenge group or something like that. We're gonna do some challenge groups here too. So don't worry, that's coming. You'll see it here pretty soon. But find, get in one of those groups. It doesn't have to be mine. I would like it, but it doesn't have to be mine. Find that group, get into that group, and then do the challenge. And don't just kind of do it. Every time you flex, you go through it. Every time you lift, you actually give it your all, right? And then, then you, when it comes down to springtime and all that stuff, you're already be there, right? So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have a New Year's resolution. You're already done. You're already at the depth set. I am Mike C. 45 seconds with Mike C. Just a way to try to get you through the holidays. And by the way, eat the turkey. Eat the cake. You know, one day is not going to kill you. Two days is not going to kill you. But several months will. So, you know, don't stop working out. Just keep going. Mike C. 45 seconds.